Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel like I always do every night. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. That's how we're saved, why we're saved, and how we're kept saved. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. That's the gospel. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. The door is opening back and forth because the wind, I have the windows open. That whosoever believe will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? Matter of fact, let me close this door. So how do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus, the moment you accept Christ and his blood, for all of your sins, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time and sealed until the day of redemption, which is the rapture. Period. You're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. Huh. The Holy Spirit will minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, change you. He's your best friend. And he'll do all that. Now, um, I don't know whether you all heard... But there was a U.S. fighter jet scrambled and created a sonic boom. Pursuing a passenger jet that ultimately crashed in Virginia. So this is all over the news right now. It happened um, earlier today and I had got um, news about it. It says a registered to the, it was a Cessna. And it was registered to Encore Motors of Melbourne, Florida. John Rupel told the Washington Post he was the owner of the plane and that his daughter, grandchild, and nanny were on board. So U.S. fighter jets were scrambled Sunday afternoon, creating a sonic boom. After a Cessna Citation passenger jet violated airspace around D.C., now, this happened earlier this afternoon. So the aircraft, which carried 7 to 12 passengers, crashed into a mountainous terrain in southwest Virginia around 3 o'clock. Uh, one of the uh, news stations reported the plane had not yet been found as of 5.20 p.m. So that was a couple of hours ago. I don't know what's going on as of right now. This is off of, actually off of the blaze. I had another article about this off of the New York Post. So the plane had not been found yet. I don't know whether they found it since then or not. I haven't gotten anything about it. The fighter jets did not cause the crash, a US official to told Reuters. Officials said the Cessna was ignoring radio uh, curies and flying on a, listen to this, a strange flight path. And this is what Fox News also reported. It says reports of a loud, a loud boom flooded on Twitter near the time of the crash. Various author uh, authorities, including the Annapolis Office of Emergency Management and the D.C. Homeland Security and Emergency Management, tweeted to reassure citizens that there was no current threat. I would have thought the same thing. The Cessna left Elizabethton Municipal Airport in Tennessee bound for Long Island MacArthur Airport in New York. Virginia State Police told the outlet search efforts by state and local authorities are underway. 
So Fox 5 in D.C. reported that the Cessna 560 citation registered, and they got the number here, took off from an airport, flew over New York, New Jersey, and Maryland in something of an elongated loop. So it was looping, it seems like, and then descended into a mountainous area in Virginia. Now, either he was sick or something was going on there. It's not clear whether the two events are related. Huh. The story is developing right now. So, now the uh, one on New York, the one on, off the New York Post says, Sonic boom for military jets racing towards a private aircraft that had crossed into restricted airspace startled hundreds in D.C. area who heard the explosive sound today. The boom rang out when F-16 fighter jets were scrambled to Joint Base Andrews in Maryland to investigate the aircraft, uh, which was unresponsive and flying shortly after 3 o'clock, according to the Department of Defense. So residents around the Capitol and surrounding communities were left bewildered. The F-16... The F-16s were deployed after private Cessna jet flew into unauthorized flew into authorized airspace over the Capitol before crashing down in Southwest Virginia. The fighter jet saw that the pilot of the private aircraft had passed out. See, this is why you read multiple sources because you get more, you get something else that they didn't have. So like I said, something was wrong with him. Washington's Homeland Security and Emergency Management Agency said the boom was heard across the national capital region, but that there is no threat at this time. Officials also denied that any U.S. jet caused the Cessna flight to crash. The Pentagon did not immediately respond to the post for comment. So the sonic boom, which occurs after a vehicle breaks the sound barrier at 767 miles per hour, could be heard throughout the capital and cities in Maryland and Northern Virginia, with many taken to Twitter, questioning the explosion that rattled homes. This thing was so loud, it rattled everybody's house. Someone just said it, it was loud enough to shake my coffee table. The uproar eventually caused uh, the hashtag uh, explosion to trend on uh, Twitter today. The Annapolis Office of Emergency Management eventually set out a notice informing residents about the cause of the explosion. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really, I don't know. Um, the loud boom that was heard across the uh, DMV also area also caused by an authorized Department of Defense flight, official says, this flight could uh, cause a sonic boom. The Federal Aviation Administration has yet to confirm details on the Cessna jet that crashed. A Cessna can temp, uh, typically carry about 12 passengers. Um, so that's saying the same thing there. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but this is what was reported. Now, this came out today also, and this just came out earlier off of RT. This is regarding Ukraine. So Ukraine... Sorry, I had to sneeze. Sorry. Ukraine begins a large-scale offensive. Now, it's saying here, Kiev's troops have unsuccessfully tried to break through the front line in Donbass, the Russian defense minister said. So, Ukrainian forces have attacked the Russian troops along five sections of the front line in Donbass during their large-scale offensive. 
The Russian Defense Ministry said in the early hours of Monday, because it's already the next day over there, according to uh, the Ministry of Defense, the assault began this morning, this morning, Sunday morning. The enemy's goal was to breach our defenses in what they assumed was the most vulnerable section of the front line, the ministry said in a statement. They failed. So the enemy has failed to reach its goals and was unsuccessful, the ministry said. The uh, Ministry of Defense said that Ukraine had deployed the 23rd and 31st mechanized brigade from its strategic reserves which were supported in battle by other units the ukrainian armed forces have lost more than 250 service men members 16 tanks three infantry uh vehicles and 21 armored vehicles so like i said earlier today they're they're not going to lose they're not going to win this so I'm going to link this in the description box and I'm going to link both the articles off the New York Post and the Blaze about that plane. And if I get anything else about it tonight, I'll I'll come back on. Thank you.